I went to North Korea. It was scary. We just got checked. Luckily, they didn't steal our videos. But I survived. And then I went to South Korea. And oh my god. Ha, I have finally arrived in Seoul. Very few I people really went to both Koreas. <laughs> and today, I want to show you the crazy stuff I saw inside North and South Korea. Welcome to North Korea. Welcome to South Korea. North and South Korea. This is not a history lesson, but 78 years ago, Korea was one nation that was split to two countries. And today, the two countries are night and day, literally. From space, you can see one country is bright with so many lights, and the other is dark like no one lives there. In North Korea, I saw empty highways because no one can afford cars. This is the main highway of North Korea. Right here. In South Korea, I was stuck in traffic because there are too many rich people buying cars. The image from space was right. In the North, power goes out all the time. <laughs> power went off again. Okay, bye -bye. Okay, Usually go. the power goes off every now and then. I think the shop is closed. <laughs> In the south, cities are full of light and nightclubs never shut down. Let's go! Let's go! After 78 years of separation, the culture of people changed. They have the same language and history, but in North Korea. North Korea. They think with the missile, the tank, the weapon, the violence. I saw that with my eyes because I attended their celebrations and I was worried for my life. While in South Korea, their culture is about peace and dialogue. I attended their protests. This <laughs> is a protest. And they only had candles. Lots and lots of candles. They had floating sharks and music in the middle of a protest. I was not worried for my life. In fact, I was having a good time. North Korea is so closed, you cannot even enter with a book. The soldiers will search you on the train. They check every picture and every page of every book that you have. Inside the country, it's a whole new world. You can't find internet or Wi-Fi anywhere. This place is such a close community that everything they produce is produced internally which means there's no trade or very little trade with other nations. You turn on the TV and it's just angry people 24-7. It's like living in the past. But only 50 kilometers away in South Korea, you can read any book in the world. The internet is the fastest in the world. Their TV is Squid Games. Their music is Gangnam Style. And on top of all of that, they invented Samsung, one of the biggest technology companies in the world. They are building the future. Now, think about this for a second. Koreans are the same people with the same language, culture, and history. The only difference is their leaders. One leader closed the country to the world. The other leader opened the country to the world. It's not communism versus capitalism, democracy versus dictatorship. In fact, 
I'm not sure that democracy is the answer. I think it's about the quality of the leader. The people who are in power have so, so, so much influence on our lives. They can turn our country dark from space, or they can light it up. They can influence our life, our kids' life, and our grandkids' life. My visit to North and South Korea taught me one big lesson. The leaders we choose today will choose the life of our grandkids tomorrow.